Hey good people, hey good people. I just put out the big all the changes coming next season in the news video, but this is about Banshee 44 and what he might or might not have that you would like. Alright, let's start off with this whispering slab bow. This one has tactile string, elastic string, carbon arrow shaft, natural fletching, killing wind, and unrelenting with a draw time masterwork. This is actually pretty decent, I would say decent for PvE. There is a plank stride that's decent, you know, decent, good I would say, for PvE add clear. As it has one for all, that means you get damage for hitting three separate enemies, you get a damage boost for a while, and mulligan to help you get ammo back from missing shots. Not the greatest role. There's a night watch that has threat detector and moving target. Night Watch is a great scout no matter where you take it. This is a good roll. Moving target is the best perk that you're gonna find on here. You know, increasing that movement speed and especially the targeting. This is more useful on a close range weapon, but other than that, everything else is pretty good and the masterwork is handling. All right, there's a Pizzicato 22 Kinetic SMG. This has chamber compensator or extended barrel, alloy magazine or armor piercing rounds, perpetual, which is always a great perk, give you that stability, the handling, and that reload speed just for moving, and rangefinder. Rangefinder has been recently nerfed, but it still helps with your range, okay? It still helps. Then a Suro Synergy Origin trait and a handling masterwork. If you don't have any type of kinetic SMG for PvE, sure, you know, go for it. Then there's a Galu RR3 Arc Sniper with Dragonfly and Steady Hands. That one is geared more towards PvE. Dragonfly is when you shoot them in the head, they dead and go boom. <laughs> Alright, those are the daily ones. And now let's talk about the weekly. So there is a Lunalata Stasis Bow for PvE, and this is very good in my opinion, especially with a Stasis build. You got Tactile String or High Tension String, Fiberglass Arrow Shaft or Natural Fletching, Well Rounded, so throwing a grenade or hitting a target with a charge melee grants a stacking bonus to your stability, handling, and range. And when you use a super, you go to your max stacks. But the star here is Headstone. Headstone makes makes ice cubes out of precision kills. So that's a beautiful thing. Having the Vice Stinger trait, never too bad, right? And then a draw time masterwork, S tier masterwork on pretty much any bow. So for PvE, if you don't have a bow with Headstone for a stasis build, snatch that up. All right, moving on for PVE for Old Sterling. If you need an auto rifle that strand, Banshee has had an S tier, or at least I would say an A tier, Old Sterling. This ain't exactly it, but for PVE itself, this is beautiful. It's got fluted barrel or hammer forge rifling, alloy magazine or flare magwell, surplus, and demolitionist with the field tested origin trait and a range masterwork this is great for a grenade build you're gonna love that and surplus just makes it makes it better when you have your abilities charged all right all right then there is division the arc sidearm all right so this baby has target sis or short spec sas i said sis you know what i mean steady rounds or alloy magazine ambitious assassin so you can overflow based on number of kills you get before reloading and kill clip for that extra damage after you, you reload so the beautiful thing about this little synergistic pair is that they both activate when you reload after kills so you can reload a nice big old kill clip if you play your cards right so this is nice actually so don't sleep on this little pair right here this is going to serve you probably better in pve people don't really use sidearms too much in endgame pve we know that but 
you know, if you play your cards right and boost your damage going into it, get two kills with vision and PvP, you might like this a lot, especially because it has a handling masterwork. Alright, Staccato 46. If you don't have a good solar scout rifle for PvE or PvP, this one has full bore or small bore, a pendant mag or steady rounds, under pressure, and then Rampage. This is more PvP, I won't lie. And then Suro Synergy, Origin Trait, and a Range Masterwork. You might like this a lot for PvP. Is there better PvP roles of this? Yes, but this is, I would say, better than good. Slightly better than good. Alright, there's then a Palmyra B Stasis Rocket Launcher with Explosive Light. So you pick up Orbs of Light, you can do more damage, and Unrelenting. Unrelenting, you kill enemies and it helps you stay alive longer, get your health, uh, get your health back. Comes with Hockey Breach Armaments, and if you don't have any good rocket launcher with Explosive Light, Explosive Light is a very good rocket launcher, very good rocket launcher perk, in my opinion. And then there's a Typhon GL5 Grenade Launcher, also Stasis, a lot of Stasis. Uh, confined launch or volatile launch, high explosive ordnance or mini frags, and then impulse amplifier for good projectile velocity and better reload speed, and then chill clip. So direct hits with the top half of the mag cause a detonation that slows nearby targets. This is actually very nice. Don't sleep on that one. And then Omalon fluid dynamics origin trait with a velocity masterwork the all the extra velocity you're getting is very nice on grenade launches all right so as always y'all subscribe throw down a like comments really help me share this thing out thank you for supporting my all my channels and my streams if you do and thanks y'all take care happy holidays if you celebrate and be safe i'm up